scorpion type of temperaments or you can call a snake like temperaments the secretive set temperaments developed when you start get, getting them exclusive to yourselves on the contrary if you allow them to be open talking to everyone opening their hearts to everyone even the people who are grown up shudder from touching another's child i have seen they laugh at that stake should i take the child what's the harm i mean in india you go to anybody's house they'll just pick up the child and now they say it is for protection of disease and all that but on the contrary children develop more immunity over protected children are very dangerously placed because they have no immunity for anything imagine in that country we have all kinds of parasites living all kinds of parasites still we exist better because we have immunity to so many things and that's how you people become very weak health wise imagine i went to uh, went to australia and we have three four indian boys there they came to help me with the kitchen lifting all the big things here and there so i asked one of them i said why not ask these boys to do something he said they are only nice to look at mother but they have no strength they have no strength i have seen that and it happens more in countries like in, in england where it's such a bad climate you keep your children inside they don't go out you all the time shut your children they become selfish they become very mean and very short sighted open them up now you have a community you have a trustworthy community but you don't then one person will just a dominating person will come out catch hold of your child and use that child blackmail you for the child do all kinds of things but if you just allow the child to play about with everyone just allow diseases will disappear you will be surprised also supposing you have a uh, problem say even with the back agya if others are handling it disappears because somebody has better vibrations the boot sleeve you but if you just all the time hold you are a person suffering from a back agya yourself you are holding all the child to yourself the child has to suffer we actually send our children to other people in very child trusting them and they love the children because here people don't believe that you can love the children so here we have to trust others with our children and that's the reason i think the children become so exclusive they stick on to you they cannot go to anyone but you you, you see in india when you go i don't know if you have visited any homes or not the children will be the first to receive that's all right sit down then they offer you something if there somebody is not in the house they will look after you. and they'll know everything about you uh what you said what you asked for what you wanted everything so sweetly you know everything is on the record and they have names for every uncle for every auntie and they remember all those things all their life i met such children whom i had looked after in my child in in their childhood i would say more and uh, they remember all that i told them the stories i told them and how i looked after them and every little little things they remember it's so sweet to know that they know all those things still one of them is now working in the world bank she got a big job in the world bank she came down the other day and she just started crying like a little baby in my lap you see they said what's the matter <laughs> she said auntie gee, i remember those days you see <laughs> i'm so fond of me that she once went to a shop and she saw a sari quite grown up which i i used to wear the same type of sari a local lady once she saw she said that's my aunty sari and she went and bought that sari she said that's my aunty sari quite grown up all these little little things children remember all the sublime things all the noble things all the things that are very pure but you don't expose them you just overpower the children too much of it and also then the children try to attract your attention all the time because they are used to you they'll ask 10 questions they'll talk too much they will say things where and you will be tired i know that when i was coming by train i had a lady traveling with me she's her name is clive's wife what's her name she was traveling with me and her son 
and poor thing she wouldn't talk to me because she had to tell stories to him and then these to him and she wouldn't leave. I said, you just neglect him, just neglect for a while and the child is better. And the same advice I gave to Barbara, her son, son uh, is very good, he went to uh, Terren, uh, Warren when he was there, he went to every person, he went and asked everyone, he went round the whole hall and looked at everyone. But in India children do nothing. They are worried about everyone, they will go and see the vibrations. This exclusiveness and overpowering, you really hate your mothers and hate your fathers when you grow if they are very over possessive. This is possessiveness and a fear that we lose a child. Actually you really lose if you have this kind of a fear and you, if you overpower your children. That's what I've seen that children who would like to be in the program, no, the, all the ladies are standing outside as punishment. Why? Make them sit. They'll be all right. They'll sit quietly, they won't make any noise. But this overpowering attention to your child, and I have also heard that in the ashrams, the ladies who have children don't do any work. They just don't do any work, they are looking after their children finished. And the rest of the work of the ashram does somebody else. To produce a child, you don't take much, do you? There's nothing great that you have produced a child, first of all. They are Sahaja Yogis and they are in my trust not in yours. And don't spoil them. No mother should sit with the child in the house or in the rooms, whatever may be the case. Allow the child to play with others, sit in the drawing room. But they will take the child, sit in the room, feed the child, look after them. They have only one work is to look after the child finished. It's, it's like an emotional back, blackmail, I think that you just take the child to yourself and sit down there and say that, oh, I'm looking after the child, so other one says, oh, all right, she's a mother. <laughs> I have so many children here. This motherhood should not give you such a uh, funny idea that you have become so great that you should sit down and do nothing else. My family, my, I, I had eleven brothers and sisters. And my mother, I think, was president of a congress in Nagpur of Madhya Pradesh. She went to jail five times. And a very correct woman. She wouldn't tolerate any nonsense from her children. And that's another thing that if the child does anything to someone, I've heard that children are very indisciplined, they hit others, they pull the uh, hair, they say all kinds of funny things and parents never correct them, just adore them. And when the children grow up, they just kick out their children, the parents. We have seen this happening because they are real life souls. They won't like this kind of nonsense. So be careful on that. Yesterday I talked to you about Muladhara. Let the children have a healthy, Trustworthy Muladhara, let them meet other people, be friendly with other, play with everyone, go around everywhere, allow them. But otherwise they are very negligent about their children. What do they do? They don't even massage their children, they don't even clean their children, they don't keep their clothes clean, they don't give them baths regularly, they don't give them proper food to eat. This is one point we have to see, that our children should be made collective and very strong in their muladhara from very childhood. And I've seen parents coming and telling me, we don't know why, why our child left us like this. You see, when he grew up, he was all right in childhood. This is the reason. They get bored with you, to be very frank. <laughs> Suddenly, you see, my son left me, suddenly. Why? He was all right till yesterday. He must have been fed up now, run away from this thing. So they must have their own friends and they must go round and it's really, comparatively, if you see, 
the children have no wisdom of their own because the parents are so overpowering. They don't allow children to grow in proper way, to understand anybody else. I just don't understand what has happened to us, why are we going wrong about children so... Now, the another point one has to see about ashrams, which I uh, need not have said before, but now I must tell you that we have to be responsible people. That is also there. The, from childhood, if you don't have sense of responsibility, you can never develop it later. Like electricity bills goes up like to hell. People never put off their lights. I mean, there is a switch which is to be put on and also put off. It's not only for putting on. <laughs> Small things like gas or electricity thing, if once they are in the ashram, they don't bother. It's your ashram. Then I, food. The amount of food that is thrown away is something surprise. No value for food. No understanding how to organize, because there's no Grahalakshmi, there's no housewife's qualities, because we are sitting with the child now, not doing anything else. Supposing you had your own house, then you would be shopping, you would be cooking, you would be looking after your child, you would be uh, cleaning your house, cleaning the utensils, doing everything yourself. But in the ashram they think, now we have a baby. So we are in charge of the baby, let's look after them and sit down with them. I would love to play with babies all the time and have nothing to do with you. So, can I do that? <laughs> can I do that? I cannot. In the same way, we must understand. Now, we should not waste food. There are many people in this world who are starving. We have no business to waste food at all. I mean, aren't this, I, you'll be surprised that even the richest of richest in India would not leave anything in the plate, richest of richest. And Gandhiji, in his ashram we were, even Maulana Azad and Jawaharlal Nehru had to clean their own plates, you see. So they should not take more. If they take more, they should not leave anything in such a manner that others cannot eat. Waste of food, a waste of electricity, waste of other energies, without understanding it means money. That's why you never have money. There should be a proper organizing as to what you are going to cook, what you are going to have, how much is going to be used. Nothing should be wasted. I have seen this tendency. I have seen this tendency myself very common, they no respect of food, no respect of food. That's why children also don't have any respect for food. Before food is served, you must sit with the idea that now you are going to have the food, it is a yadnya, and that you have to eat that food with some prayer, bless that food, Thank God that you've got the food. It's in the Lord's prayer. And then the satisfaction comes in better and you get a sense that, no, we should not waste our money on food like this. There are so many other things one has to know about children that you must know about their vibrations. You should be alert about their vibrations. Try to find out what's wrong with them. <coughs> what do they do? Now, for example, you find a child who's misbehaving. Don't go on all the time with him. Call the child once, make the child sit down and talk to the child that you shouldn't do like this. When you are in with mother, pay attention to her. It is you who is going to mold these new children who have been given to you specially because you are Sahaja Yogi and not to ruin their lives. You know some children have become mad with this kind of a thing, like Datta who was here. 
and everybody made you see she herself was so careless so careless that you can't imagine when i heard about her carelessness and the filth with which she looked after the child i was amazed how linda could do that way and you should not be another linda to spoil that child's health mind everything if you have a clean neat place and a proper place children would love it to be there but no mother should sit with the child in the room that is a law in the drawing room you can sit with your child and in the room when the child is sleeping the child should be taken otherwise keep the child in the drawing room you'll see the child will become happier because it is natural to be collecting it is natural for child to mix up with others to talk to others to know about it is natural innocence is like that innocence wants to know the whole world that's the time if you don't allow the child to know then he becomes pervert he has problems so give them a better life better situation better education better discipline because you are equipped don't give them what you have this is real love otherwise it's possessiveness i wanted to talk about this because yesterday i talked to you about muladhar and i have been i have been seeing and noticing what's happening to your children and i find the amount of discipline they have is coming from you how far you are disciplined and by doing this you play into their hands they know that they can curb you the way you like they they know that you are depending on them you can't exist without them they have this idea so they don't listen to you but if they know that they will lose the love if you don't behave they will be alright they are very intelligent so you must play your cards all right and see that your children brought to proper line of understanding because they are different children special children given to you as a trust they are not your children they are my children so too much of huddling and hugging and this and that is not necessary i mean sometimes you break their bones the way you do it it's too much try this on others children less on your own children try to keep your children out and love other children i don't know what kind of psychology you people read but it's a simple straight forward thing we must understand as we are sahaj yogi that children have to be collectivity otherwise i have to again break my head with them for being collective they should be naturally collective all right coming let's have the puja I think today's speech must be written down and sent to all the centers. It's important. I find this all over in the Western cities. If they have a child, then they, I tell you, suddenly they become more than an emperor, and the wife becomes more than an emperor herself. Not only empress, but and more than an emperor. While I'm told your kings and queens never see their children at all. I mean, that's another experience.